at NAMM 2012, and we're talking to Tish, president of Daisy Rock Guitars. Welcome, Tish. Hi, welcome to NAMM 2012. <laughs> tell us about your brand. Okay, so you want to hear a little bit about Daisy Rock Girl Guitars? Please. Great, awesome. Let me tell you a little bit about my company. Um, I founded the company in the year 2000, but prior to that, I used to play in a lot of bands in Los Angeles in the early 80s, and I was in this band called Lipstick. We're an all-female heavy metal band. Well, I play bass guitar. First bass I got, I went down to a local music store, and my boyfriend and the guy behind the counter decided what bass I should play because girls don't come into music stores and buy musical gear. And so then I'm in this band, and all of a sudden we're playing all these shows, and we get out there and the guys won't sound check us. And I'm like standing there with a the sound guy going, well, why won't you sound check us? Well, because girls usually suck, or they're just not good enough. I get all these really lame excuses from men in this music industry. Right. So I'd had this discrimination as a musician that I had dealt with. Well, then, of course, I'm in love with my husband, and one day we decide we're going to have a kid, and I have a baby daughter. And one day she's about a year and a half years old, and I'm pregnant with my second daughter, and she draws out a daisy. And I put a neck on it and a headstock on it, and I looked at it and I thought, well, this could be a girl guitar. And I thought, well, what does that mean? Now, my husband, in the meantime, had taken over Schechter Guitars, and he's the president of Schechter Guitars. Wow. So I took him this drawing, and I said, I think we should make girl guitars. And he said, well, what do you mean? He had seen me struggle with basses being really heavy and being really hard to play, and he'd made me a couple of basses through Schechter. And I said, well, it needs to be lighter in weight. It needs to have like a slimmer neck profile, but also it needs to be really fun so we can inspire more girls that they look at and go, oh my God, I gotta learn how to play guitar. So we designed the very first girl guitar and that guitar actually hangs in the NAMM Museum now. And so when I founded the company in 2000, we came out with this whole idea of what's a girl guitar, we came out with the very first design girl guitar, and then we decided we're gonna do anything that we can to get more girls to learn how to play guitar. So Daisy Rock Girl Guitars was formed with that idea and in the last 12 years, you know, we've done half a million guitars. We donate to every charity that we can think of that has anything to do with a girl trying to learn how to play guitar. And it's been a really awesome adventure, needless awesome. to say. Great. Tell us about some of your brands that you are showing here at the show today. Okay, so we do a lot of different series. One of the things that we get to do as a guitar company that other guitar companies don't get to do is I get to name the guitars really fun things <laughs> because I don't believe it should be a CX-150. No, it should be a rock candy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's in the Stardust series because I'm a huge David Bowie fan. Okay. And I've named guitars after Joan Jett. I've named guitars after Wanda Jackson. We do the Bengal Signature Series guitar. I don't know if you're panning around and looking at stuff here. The Bengal Signature guitar with the F hole. It's got the Daisy Rock and their three lotus flower on it. So we're the only company that they've ever came to and said, you know, we'd like to do our own signature line. It's the Bengals. It doesn't get any bigger in, our, in my world. You have the Runaways, you've got the Bengals, you've got the Go-Go's. These are the women that really started this. Absolutely. Now the reason I started playing is because I saw um, Leather Tuscadero on Happy Days, which is also Susie Quattro, play bass, and I was like, oh my God, whatever she's doing, I totally want to do that. But that's how very little influence there was back in the 70s to really be a female and be a musician and go out there and be in a band. So today, if you think about how we have changed society and the culture, a mother today can look at her daughter in the fourth grade, in the third grade, and she can go, okay, she can learn piano, she can learn violin, she can learn flute, or she can learn guitar. Because there's a girl guitar out there for her. It makes a lot of sense now. Perfect. So we do all kinds of fun guitars here at Daisy Rock Guitars. We do the Wildwood series. We have a lot of acoustics. We have the Pixie series. We're known as the queen of sparkle. So as you can tell, but you know, not every girl wants a pink sparkly guitar. So we have purples and blues and blacks and silvers. Perfect. And where would a girl find a guitar? How would they find a Okay, so a we, we have a very huge distribution network throughout the United States. Of course, we are in Guitar Center. Also, we've done business with Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, a lot of online places. And we have a very strong mom and pop dealership. If you go to daisyrock.com, you'll see a whole list of all of our dealers. And then outside of the U.S., we distributed in Canada with Music One Select. We're in 26 different countries. So, and I love feedback. I will support, our artist program says that if you're a girl and you're learning how to play, we want to have something to do with you. So we handle girls from that know one chord to girls like Wanda Jackson who just got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We want to be part of your life. We want to help support you. We're not a record label. We just want to do whatever we can to help support you and move you along and keep you interested in it. So if you're an artist out there, please make sure you get in touch with us at daisyrock.com. We have a great artist program and all we're trying to do is we do whatever it takes to get more girls to learn how to play guitar and enjoy music. Fantastic. Thank you, Tish. Thank you so much. It's really nice meeting you. Thanks for coming to NAM 2012.